Hello everyone, Oscar Hotel 8, Golf Echo Juliet here from MAM Portable and QRP. I've got a very exciting video for you today, especially for those of you who have seen my FT817 CAT control video on Survival Tech Nord. Now one of my really good friends, Andrea, India Uniform 4 Alpha Papa Charlie, has sent me the Alpha version of 817 Companion. Now, if you know of the KX3 Companion app for Android, this is the same guy who developed that app. So this is an early release, and I'm not going to show you all of the functionality, but I'll basically just give you an overview of the app in operation to show people what's going on development-wise with amateur radio and Android, and hopefully generate some excitement for this app. So let's run through a few of the features before I show you the app in action. So these are just some of the features that I've tested so far. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity with the FT817. OTG USB cable connectivity to the FT817. Uh, the DX cluster with filters and alarms. Now that's pretty cool actually. Uh, audio spectrum and waterfall. Memory buttons. Uh, the logging. QRZ.com lookup. Uh, frequency and mode changes. And VFO. If you're a portable operator, you're probably banging your head against the wall right now going, why hasn't someone done this sooner? Well, honestly, guys, I don't know why. But what I do know is Amateur Radio is moving forward, finally, with the Android operating system, enabling us to leave those power-hungry Windows systems at home where they belong. But let's go ahead and take a look at the app now. I'm using the same Bluetooth dongle that I used on my 817 in the Survival Tech Nord video. I'll try to find some new sources for those in the description or on the website. But unlike the original video that I showcased on STN, this one also uses OTG cable to connect to the FT817. So you can have your FT817 wired or wireless, it's your choice now. I think that's pretty cool. So I think I'll just take a few tens of seconds to play around with the app and show you what it's all about. I'll also create a playlist and I'll add new videos as new features and updates become available. You'll find a link to the playlist in the description. The radio window at the bottom of the screen with the 817 isn't synced up directly to the other screen. I had to use two separate cameras and with editing and everything else that was pretty difficult so it won't always match up but it does work. I think a lot of FT817 operators would agree that the screen is a weak link in the radio. And since we don't have the remote head like the FT897, we need to harness the power of the Android operating system to enable better function and usability of the FT817 itself. Remember to bookmark the playlist that's in the uh, description so that you can see development of this app as it uh, moves forward. 
Also remember to share that playlist and share this video to as many communities about the FT817 as you can because if we don't support these developers of amateur radio apps, there won't be any developers making apps for amateur radio. And that brings us to the end of the video. Please leave some feedback, questions, comments, whatever you like. And uh, if you found this video informative or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to share, subscribe, all those good things. And with that, 73s and good DX.